Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosso here uh, in the usual location. Um, last summer I made a series of videos about the somewhat creative approach I took uh, to solving my home internet connectivity problems. What I did specifically was I took my existing internet connection, which was a uh, DSL uh, router, and I added a cellular router, a 4G cellular router from TP-Link. Then, next thing, this is a synopsis of all these videos, I added a load balancer, also from TP-Link, in the middle of those two devices, and then I wired out my uh, internet. From there, I now have a access point delivering Wi-Fi and an ethernet switch delivering wired internet. So, to my surprise, that uh, video, uh, one of those videos about the load balancer, the TP-Link ER605, has actually proven to be the most viewed video on this entire YouTube channel. At the time I'm recording this video, there's 21,000 views and it's probably going to go up. So I was really surprised and I guess the answer is that more people than I realized have a need for what was technically called multi-WAN internet, internet connectivity. In other words, you're not just relying on one ISP, you're relying on two or more forms of external connectivity, just like I'm doing with my ISP going into load balancer and the cellular in case the ISP drops, it kicks in on the cellular and for the most part, it works wonderfully. It's been set up now for a year. I periodically check the TXRX transmission uh, receive log just to make sure that the cellular is actually being used and it is, but you know, just to about one or 2% of the total uh, airtime. So basically the internet is working fine. Now, one upgrade I've been planning for a while, and this is what this video is about, is upgrading the antenna on the cellular router. So the 4G right now, I'm actually just gonna overlay a few graphics on this video because um, I've just installed a new antenna and everything is nicely connected, so I'm not gonna touch, uh, touch what's working. The uh, cellular router I have from TP-Link is called the T. Uh, TP-Link TRMR100. It is a 4G uh, router. If you can afford a 5G cellular router for this same purpose, uh, go ahead and buy a 5G router. Just make sure that you're buying a 5G data plan or otherwise you're going to be paying uh, more money for uh, the same as you'll get on 4G. So I picked up a TP-Link TLMR100 cellular router. And what you want to do if you want to get an external uh, antenna. Now, the reason I would recommend doing this is because what you're going to get with the cellular router is a couple of very small antennas and they'll do a decent job. They'll pick up 4G, but think about who's buying these cellular routers. It's gonna be actually, believe it or not, a lot of buses. Yes, you heard that right. For uh, things like buses, right? If, you're, if you've ever been traveling by bus, and they have onboard Wi-Fi, that's obviously not coming from a wired internet source because the bus is moving. So what they would do in that situation is they have a cellular router sitting somewhere in the bus, and that's what's actually pro providing your connectivity. So in that kind of an instance, you want something that's going to physically sit on a shelf in the bus, let's say, and be stable. Now, if you're using a cellular router in a home environment, you don't kind of have that constraint, so it makes sense to use the best 4G antenna you can afford. Now, all you need to do is connect the antenna to the router. It doesn't matter. The antenna can be located outdoors. So if like me, you're, this, is, as this box that I'm always showing my videos is my home office, and it's not really an ideal place to pick up cellular connectivity just because it's small. Uh, where the routers are sitting in that little metal thing behind me, it's on the ground, it's not near the window. So what I actually did was bought a 4G uh, antenna. Now, I don't wanna make this video specifically about the TP-Link TLMR100 because that's one of many uh, cellular routers on the market. What you're going to need to do is look up the spec sheet or the technical sheet or the user manual, one of those uh, that come with the hardware. And it should specify what the uh, antenna connection is. It's probably going to be SMA. SMA, but there's a few other type of connectors. The next thing you need to do if you're looking to buy an external antenna is decide whether you want an internal or an external antenna. There are, if you are lucky enough to own your home, 
um, there are uh, waterproof antennas for 4G that are designed to literally be out in the elements and you're probably going to get superior connectivity uh, just because uh, you don't have all that interference than what you'd get if you had something sitting within a couple of recessed walls uh, wherever you live and wherever the router lives. So that's basically all there is to it. You need to just to summarize this, you need to firstly go ahead and see what the connector is. Um, make sure that, you know, if your cellular router, there might be ones in the market, I'm sure, that have the antennas internally built in. But most of them probably, including the TP-Link uh, TLMR100, have um, come with uh, come with little antennas this big, but you can simply remove them and wire in an external antenna. The next thing you're going to need to do when specking out your antenna is to make sure that firstly it's legal, you don't need a license uh, to install this antenna in your property, and secondly that the antenna is going to cover the frequencies for whatever uh, data plan you're using in your cellular router because the different antennas are going to cover different uh, frequencies and that's pretty much all there is to it if everything goes well you should find that using a more powerful external antenna especially if you're going to be deploying it outdoors is going to give you improved connectivity versus using the built-in one in my situation using the tp-link mr100 even though i wasn't able to install an external antenna by simply using a third party more powerful antenna i was able to jump from 3g connectivity using the uh, antennas that came with the router up to 4g connectivity which is a lot faster and that just means that it's a little improvement to my overall system but it does mean that whenever the ISP connection drops on my network and we fail over to cellular. The cellular connection at a fairly good 4G connection is a lot more usable than 3G and therefore the difference in uh, speed of the network when that occasional failover happens is going to be even less noticeable. Again, this is a little incremental improvement I've done to this dual ISP or dual WAN home network setup. If you find this video useful, you wanna get more uh, videos from me about technology and all of the subjects I covered here, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.